Okay. Well, today I went to come out and try to fix this thing. I, I tried the uh, the method of where you uh, you put the straps around or a rope around the tire and crush the tire up to try to get the sidewall to meet with the rim there. But when I did that, it kind of just made it worse. I think these tires are like too big or something or too fat. I don't know what it is, but when I crushed the tire down, it actually made the sidewalls go in further away from the rim. So you can see both of these are... Uh, this one's even worse than that, the other one. But on this side too, it's away from the side wall. You can see. Let me try something with the brightness here. There, that's a little better. See. Okay. So a method that I saw somebody do online was using this stuff. Some uh, starting fluid. Caution, you know, danger, extremely flammable. That's what you want. I guess 35% ether, our highest content. Hmm. Okay. So let's see what I can do with this. Okay. Take some of this, this stuff. All the guy did was well, spray it a little bit in there. Not a whole bunch. That's it. Hope that's not too much. Oh boy. So, here we go. Well, it didn't exactly do what I wanted it to do. Uh, hmm. Try it from the outside, maybe. Uh, let's see. Again. Didn't do anything. Well, that was a disappointment. Huh. Let's try that again. doing anything. It's just melting my tire. Huh. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. There it is a little bit. I can't believe even this isn't working. Great. Now this thing's not lighting. Well, made the bead get closer to the edge of the rim, that's for sure. That's about it. This isn't doing anything. Seriously? Nothing. Wow, this sucks.
This is doing nothing. All I'm doing is setting fire to my tire here. Let's try this again. Well, it's funny, I shut the camera off, I got the other one to work. All of a sudden, I lit it and it poof, it inflated and then I filled the rest with the compressor here. So I'm going to see if I can get this one on camera. I figures the second I stop filming, that's when it decides to work. And uh, it worked. So, let's try this here. Now again, I had tried the... Uh, like a toe strap and wrapped it around the tire and crushed it and all they did was make this this uh, sidewall go in away from the rim even more so I don't know if it's these just these type of tires that do that I don't know why it did that but it just seemed to make it worse and I already ran a rag on the inside of this before just to clean the major debris out now this seems to work the best if I can pull this back and get the ether well, starter fluid inside mostly. Oh, don't like that. Uh, and what I've been doing, put this can far away from this. You don't want a can of ether blowing up on you. Uh, we're gonna put the lighter. Okay. That's the tricky part is lighting this. The last time I lit it, I destroyed the lighter. I should uh, I should go get it and show you. It actually crushed the tip because it got stuck between the tire and the rim because I put it in there to light and boop it went and it it actually flattened this like paper thin. It was crazy. So these are dollar store lighters, so no biggie. Let's see if I can get this to light. Of course not because it handles busted on this thing. There we go. Come on. There it is. That one worked too. Okay. Now all you gotta do is turn the compressor on. Oh, it's already on. Okay. And open this. And fill your tire. As they say, if you don't fill it right away, it will cool down and deflate. And then you get the same problem again. Finally, to cut this horrible grass. Where do you see how horrible my grass is? Look at this. Look how deep that grass is. Look, here's a barrel. You can see how deep that grass is. It's been waiting for me to cut it because the damn tractor had flat tires. Here's my canoe. Look at that. This is a little bright. Let me see if I can drop the brightness down on this. Oops, went the wrong way. There we go. Now you can see how deep and horrible that grass is. So yay, I can finally cut my grass. Bye people. <laughs>